What's up, everybody? This is Ahmed Deer with Tackle the Kitchen, and today we're going to tackle an issue that many of us deal with on a regular basis. That darn sweet tooth. You know what I'm talking about. Sugar. Sugar is one of the many reasons why so many of us fall off our healthy eating habits. You know, I got to be honest with you. Sometimes sweet stuff are just too good to pass up on. Thankfully, we can curb our cravings for sugar by making our own dessert where we know exactly what it was made with. All right, so today, today's recipe is sweet potato brownies. And the best part about it is, it is not only sweet, but it has no processed sugar. So you know it, I'm already in the kitchen. Let's throw it down. Here's the list of ingredients you'll need for this recipe. One thing to keep in mind is that you can buy prepackaged oat flour or make your own. Grab regular oats and grind it yourself. Without peeling the sweet potatoes, boil them for 20 minutes till it becomes soft. You should be able to peel it afterwards without hassle. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees and we'll go ahead and start with the ingredients. Once you've peeled the sweet potatoes, start mashing it up in a mixing bowl. Add in your oat flour. Pour the egg whites into the bowl and then pour in the pureed apples or applesauce. Add in the baking powder and then pour in the organic honey. Finally, let's go ahead and add the cocoa powder and then start mixing. Basically, mix it until all your ingredients are well combined. If you're feeling a little nutty, like me, uh, what you can do is add in some pecans, as well as some walnuts, and make sure you mix it all up. Spray the pan with a little coconut oil, and then pour in your mixture. With a spatula, even it all out. Put it in the oven for 30 minutes. To know that it's ready, poke in a toothpick or spaghetti. If it comes out clean, you're done. Let it sit for 15 minutes and then serve. 